Hey everybody, Budaville 75 with Midnight the Ferocious Sissy bringing you another video from the Swamp Pit in regards to the progress that I have made on the Chevy Cheeseburger Chevy Tribute build which isn't much because man it just seems like every every time I get I get started on something I get caught up watching video after video after video on, on YouTube and the modeling community and I get nothing done so it is what it is but tonight we got a little bit done um, my trusty little handy dandy little engine stand here I do gotta get busy and make me a little engine stand out of styrene but here is the let me pull this off of here here is the motor of what I've got done so far the blocks are red the tranny halves are aluminum everything else the heads are aluminum the valve covers are chrome the air filter is chrome on top and white on the bottom flip it around you know this all needs touched up a little bit here and there but you got the uh, pulleys and belt system black and chrome got the alternator chrome so got a little breather there it's chrome the distributor is a tan with light blue wiring so that's all for the engine Okay, and then with the chassis, not much. I just got the pedals on the firewall. Got the front suspension part on. Oops, I don't know if you can see that very much. That's what the upper A-arm's on. And then the firewall connected to the chassis. Um, I have the headers ready to connect to the engine but I want to wait a little bit until I get to a certain part in the directions to make sure that they fit properly I want to make sure they connect to the to the exhaust pipes the way they're supposed to so through putting these together in the past I learned you have to wait to put these on and not go with the directions but they are in a aluminum then the pipes down here are steel and then aluminum tips again so we have two of those and then tomorrow I have all the front roll cage parts that I'm getting ready to paint they are going to be in a light gray color not sure if I want to stick with that or not because I noticed I looked on some of the pictures from this car online and there's a seat some of the roll cages are maroon and some are light gray so it's I guess it's a personal choice of what you want to do because they use both they had two cars this year in this 1995-96 year they had a maroon Burger King car and then the black and orange Burger King car as well so I think I might go with the light gray being I think that'll look better with the black and orange car and naturally the maroon roll cages would look better with the maroon and orange car so tomorrow I got all the parts in here for the first half of the roll cage I'm gonna paint those up and assemble those so they'll be in a light gray color and I'm stoked about this part of the roll cage if you see it's got little padding bars on it that's the first NASCAR I ever built that had these had the padding on the roll bars but I have a special pin I got. Which is called flat rubber. It is to replicate the rubber rubber padding that you have on the roll bars. So I'm anxious to try that. It's the first time I've ever used this. I got this idea from I think it was either Atomic Dog or Scale Model Customs, one of the two. But they make this it's called flat rubber it's to actually replicate the rubber look and form into an actual rubber I guess but 
I'll be excited to try that on these this little boy. So that's pretty much it with the NASCAR right now. Like I said, I haven't got a lot done to it, but I plan to I plan to crack on with it. Keep on keeping on as I like to say. Get some get some stuff done to this tomorrow. Hope to spend a full day on it, so shouldn't have anything going on in the morning where I can come down and get some done, so yeah, that's it. That's that's the update for the Chevy Tribute, Chevy Monte Carlo, well, Chevy Cheeseburger Tribute, Chevy Monte Carlo, number 87 Burger King car of Front Row Joe Nemechek. So, like to, as I always say, thanks everybody for subscribing. Thanks for all the wonderful comments. I, I try to respond to all the comments. It might take a little bit, but I... I try to respond to each and every one of them, so if I haven't responded to any of them, I either didn't see them or just somehow overlooked them, so please forgive me if I haven't commented, but I try to respond to each and every comment, so thanks one and all, thanks to all my subscribers, y'all mean a lot to me, I've been doing a lot of Skyping lately, I finally got Skype figured out, so if you would like to add me to your Skype contacts, contacts please do so Darren D-E-R-O-N Shank S-H-A-N-K and that'll get you to me I am known as Hooterville Darren Shank slash Hooterville 75 with Midnight to Ferocious Sissy at the Swamp Pit so alright thanks for tuning in guys please comment rate comment subscribe and I'll check everybody out on the next video which will probably be here in about 30 seconds after this one's done and I get stuff put away because Colonel Reb Scale Model has declared myself and Punxsutawney Phil the official winner on our little ground piggy challenge and I'm going to be opening the parcel post that he sent me with the gift that he sent me so stay tuned for that fellas thanks for tuning in now have a good week